It's the day before my birthday, and I have wonderful people in the studio this morning. Say hello, wonderful people. Hello, wonderful people. Wonderful people. Did, did everybody say hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and, of course, I want to thank uh, everyone for coming out this morning. It has been a fabulous time. Uh, I have with me this moment Pastor Jeffrey Hooks. Good morning. Who, Jeffrey? Yes. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and he just did that wonderful spoken word piece. That was awesome. That was for you. Happy Thank birthday. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. Myself and Doria were like, just like, we were in, <laughs> it. in amazement. So that was wonderful. Now, how did you get started with um, doing spoken word? First of all, let me say this. You are a part of CCC, Kennedy King College. Oh, yeah. And glad to be here. Tell us a little bit about what uh, you do. I'm a recruit with the City Colleges of Chicago. So we just go out in the city, myself and my... 14, 13 other colleagues. Love y'all, love y'all, what's going on? And we just kind of go out in the city and recruit high schools, community organizations, faith-based organizations, just to tell you about the excellent programs that we have here at City Colleges of Chicago. Oh, wow, great, great. Let's give it up to the... So thank you again for coming by. How did you get started um, with what you do? Uh, about 1996, God gave me my first words. Uh, laying in bed, the words just kind of came to me and I had to get out of the bed and start writing. And have been writing ever since. Uh, just a blessed gift. And then at some point I said, okay, God, I'm going to give this gift back to you. Mm -hmm. You allowed me to hone it. You allowed me to tailor it, to strengthen myself, to develop a, a, a statement. Um, and so now I will release it back into the atmosphere as my worship unto you. Now, this spoken word thing, can anyone just get up and do spoken word? Because is there like a certain beat that you, I always wanted to ask that question. Is no. there a certain beat? Do you, I mean, like, you mean, oh, well, is there your a first flow? Question, can anybody do it? I would say no, nobody can do it. No, okay. Not just anybody can do it. I mean, the people like You have talented, to be gifted. You but really you have, have to be gifted. gifted. You definitely, uh, I believe that there's a message in there, in it, you know, so you just can't be saying anything. And anybody can, you know, put words out there, but to put them together to, to develop something, to create uh, an edifice uh, of, 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 of content and, 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 and interesting statements, you know, it, it takes somebody with some insight and somebody who, who's willing to sit down and and to look around and to uh, assess some things in the environment. So it's not necessarily for everybody to do, which is okay, you know. Uh, everybody can't cook, mm -hmm. so, you know, get out of the kitchen. Everybody can't do spoken words, so right. get off the mic. Right, right. And, and I think that's important to flow in whatever gift you have. It's right. important everybody if you don't preach. have it. Right, right. There you go. There you go. So you, you, it's, it's really important to flow in your gift. That's yeah. why Donald Lawrence created the song, Your Gift Looks Good on You. Yeah. Work your yeah. gift. Whatever that gift is. Well, I definitely oh. give a shout out to all the book <laughs> artists in the city of Chicago. And if I started calling names out, I'd probably get in trouble. But shout out to all the spoken word artists, all the poets uh, in the city. You all are uh, great, great, talented individuals, and I love them all. Oh, wonderful. So you're going to do another piece. What What is this piece? And then we're going to come back and talk about it because you have three books that are out. Actually, four books. Oh, oh. excuse me. I'm sorry. No, no, it's all right. Get together. Get together. Get together. Four. 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 And when I was in Arizona, I just was writing. And I was I was writing three or four poems a day, three or four poems at a time. And as I was writing them, God get, was giving me the titles of each book and where each one was supposed to go. And so then I started to see um, where he was taking me to and bringing me through with those books. And so this one just represents all of the relationships that I've had, some good, some bad, some fantasy, some fiction, some nonfiction. But he just allowed me, I know, right? Makes you want to look at it now, it right? Does. Yeah. <laughs> he allowed me to go through some things. And, you know, there's some pain in there, there's some suffering, but there's also some joy, there's some worship, there's some pleasure, there's some, some happiness, there's mm -hmm. some good things in there. Um, and, and, and the reality is, each book speaks to a phase of my life. And so this one speaks to that phase of my life where I was so into this thing that it was, there was this was all that I wanted. I wanted women, I wanted to have these relationships. And at some point, I had to give that up. Well, I wanted to give that up for God. And so in reality, chronologically, this is the third book. And the fourth book is the Book of Verses, which is my book of poetic worship, where I've given all that other stuff up 
for God to live for Him and serve Him. Oh, and Oh, right oh, 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 it was spoken word. Wow. Oh, you really do have to be gifted. I thought maybe I could just maybe get a couple of lyrics and do some mm. little something. No. Nah. Boy, nah. Nah. Just Stick to the rivers and the lakes you used to. Okay. 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 I guess I have to take that. <laughs> <laughs> right. How can one get your book? Um, actually, they are, uh, they're not complete. I did one final little proofing and there are a couple of other changes. This is not complete? It's actually not. That's actually a proof. Huh? I know, right? Yeah. Okay. But this I, is amazing. Uh, I really like your color. In your, the your kingdom, color. we walk in the spirit of excellence. Is yes. that right? That's right. So that's, that's right. That's what we got to do. And right. so when the publisher has some mistakes made, I had to go back and say, no, you need to correct this. So uh, that, we have All that, right, that, now. I have to go back. Why you the All right, now. You the show. My God. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, hopefully that uh, that they will officially be uh, out in about two to three weeks. Uh, I try to get them done definitely by the month of August. So hopefully they'll be out in two or three weeks after they make these final corrections. Well, the, what I see here, I'm looking forward to you doing my book cover. Well, all right. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And if you have the spirit of excellence, that's what I'm talking about. Well, thank you. Thank check, you. Check number six. Now, I will give a shout out. Uh, actually, a friend of mine, Christopher Ward, did that the design okay. on the book cover. Excellent uh, graphic design. Excellent Amazing. artist. Amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've known him, honestly, all of my life. We grew up across the street from each other. So... Uh, he has been my friend and my brother all of my life, and I called on him and said, could you do this? And he's like, no problem, and he laid it out. Uh, and I'm so pleased with that book cover. So, yeah, got to okay. give a shout-out to Chris. So what are you? What piece are you getting ready to do now? I think I'm going to do one called If I Could Paint You a Heaven. Um, mm. Yeah, just like this one. And, and a few people want to lay claim to this poem. Uh, but no, this one is specifically for my wife, Lady Jen. So. Okay, Lady Jen. Mm -hmm. Lady Jen. Snap, snap, snap. I can only offer you the pleasures of an interlude of love. The colored blueprint of my heart's imagination. I could only paint you the caresses of a primrose path on which we would walk in intimate unification if I could paint you a heaven. A portrait of paradise on the backdrop of chocolate passions with felicitous strokes from the four corners of my canvas, it would be graced with the softest ciders and reddest red, sweetly coloring the hills and valleys of which you purchase with your love, deposited with adoration. I would bring to being your transcendent resting place if I could paint you a heaven. The waters would possess their own blues of solace bouquets and the beaches would be hued with the most tender and luscious browns. You would find diversion in a mountain range of forest green velvet and amidst that design you would find vantage ground from which you would find the finest unfolding gardens. It would sparkle with flowers of white champagne and red wine, rows of trees, oranges, cherries, peaches, apples, plums, and berries, and an indulgent wall of the zestiest red vines if I could paint you a heaven. I would pattern caves with gold and diamond rings already created to your desire and design, making you rich as well as beautiful in the eyes of beholders, as well as mine. Birds intensely colored with coral, amber, and magenta fly overhead with long wings, handsome tails, and strong form. And the fish that decorate your waters with rainbow colors can be found celebrating in the early morn. And the sound of the rain from your adorned rainforest actually falls in the soft. And I pray you'd enjoy this heaven's majesty, begotten by love with a splash of infinity, with significant highlights bringing to reach the intangible, finding luxurious joy in agents unimaginable. So with romantic forethought, this I do. If I could paint you a heaven, I would. But you. I want to know what kind of paintbrush. <laughs> what that paintbrush? Right. It's Jeffrey Hooks. <laughs> we are Jeff. WKKC. Here's Fred Hammond. It's appropriate after that. KKC. What that? Where you get that paintbrush at? Right. <laughs> <laughs>